I mic'd myself up. I'm all ready to go for this interview. Markham Baptist Church and the 30 Hour Famine was a great experience. It was a lot of fun. We didn't eat for 30 hours. That was pretty hard. I was very hungry. Um, I was hungry and tired. I didn't eat for 30 hours and I was famished. What I learned from the 30 hour famine is that um, like what other people go through, like they don't have food, they don't have water, like for a long time, they don't know when to expect the next meal. So I got to like see a feeling, just a little bit of what they go through every day. Some of us worked at grocery stores, some of us went to work, some of us went to school and didn't eat. I think like my favorite part was doing all the games and I also got to know a lot more people and things like that. Well, we had worship sessions and we did a great Bible study and played a bunch of games around the church, which was so much fun. Braylon, where did you work yesterday? Metro grocery store. And what were your, how long was your shift at Metro grocery store? Four hours. And you were participating in the famine? Yes. And um, what kind of meals did you see go by you at the Metro grocery store? Uh, lots of hot food, lots of chips and pop things, and cookies, that was good stuff. And were you tempted to eat any of it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I was. And did you? No. Stayed strong. Are you lying? No. I'm not, no. Spent the night eating popsicles, playing games in the church, watching movies. We watched Claudia Chance with meatballs too. In the morning had a wonderful breakfast. Which was very nicely prepared by Glenn Houghton, David Vega, and Camilo Vega, as well as Sam Fronte. So I'd like to say unto all the people, they should be grateful and appreciate what they have. If you think you have little, think about all the people from other places, that they have nothing. They'll, they'll just be grateful to have just one, just a little bit.